Hey home groups, welcome to session four of our Greater Things study. This week we're going to be looking at Luke 8, 40 through 56, and the story of Jesus healing Jairus' daughter. Now, there's actually two miracles in this story, but for our introduction, we're going to focus on this healing of Jairus' daughter. Uh, in it, as Jesus is walking and talking with Jairus, after his daughter has died in, this broken man has come before Jesus, pleading with him to heal. Jesus says something that I want us to consider. He says, don't fear, just believe. Now, now Ben, why does he start by saying, don't fear? I think he starts with, don't fear, because I think he recognized in Jairus' life, that was his first obstacle to putting his his faith and belief in Jesus. Maybe it's that self dialogue of, my daughter is sick. How am I going to take care of my family? What's this going to look like? That worry and that anxiousness, but that's all gnawing around myself, my control. Mm. What am I going to do? How is this going to work out? That anxious cycle we all experience. But Jesus is going to take his focus and say, hey, we're going to look outside that, and you're going to have to find your thought pattern somewhere directed elsewhere. That's so good. He follows then that with saying, just believe. What does he mean by this? Yeah, you know, I think it's a ch such a challenge for Jairus because here is the fact that his daughter is dead. It's an intellectual reality. At the same time, he's listening to the one that he just went to to ask him to bring healing. So he has faith, he has confidence in Jesus. At the same time, he's wrestling with the realities of the world and he's at this conflict, at this at this uh, just juxtaposition of these two points coming together. And Jesus is challenging him to go beyond what he can intellectually understand and trust him with his whole heart. And that's why faith is at the center of this story. Uh, following this introductory video, there are more questions I'd like you to go through as a home group. Uh, take some time to make sure you go through each verse of this story and the um, other verses that uh, support uh, this story. And then, uh, and then spend some time in prayer as well. Hope you enjoy the study.